So the entertainment industry is very tough on your mental health, you would agree. I mean, mm -hmm. we've seen people go up and fall down. I've seen it through the YouTube industry, and I'm sure you've probably seen it through television. And I've experienced television, so I, I understand that. Your kid, Sevi, is already doing commercials, I believe, and he's, he's in the entertainment industry. Do you want him to follow in your footsteps and maybe become an artista? or a YouTuber, or is that something that maybe you fear because you don't want them have to, de to deal with like the mental struggle of going through the snake pit of the entertainment industry? I used to fear that. Baka he will follow my footsteps or he would want to go this path uh -huh. na I did or I went through. But you know, I feel like the purpose of being a parent it's just to be there for your kid, love them unconditionally, and support them in whatever it is that they want to do in life. Because that's what our parents did for us. Exactly. So I'm not here to, to tell him what not to do. I'm here to love him and support him. I can't tell him, don't do this, don't do that. You can be whoever you want to be in this world. Right now, he wants to be a car racer. Yes. So, nandong kami sa stage niya ngayon. Na car racer ang dream niya. Okay, go. Uh, last year, he wants to be a pilot. Okay, pilot kami. This year, he wants to be a car racer. That's oh, great. Nung pandemic, ang gusto niya ata maging uh, stunt man. Kasi talon siya ng talon kung saan saan. So, support lang ako. I completely agree with that. And, and personally, before, I used to think, maybe they shouldn't do this or that but as long as you instill the right values and as long as you support them and and show them that you love them and are all out in support they, they can, will find their own passion in they life. can do anything exactly. they will find their own passion in life but the moment you tell them na don't do this dun pa sila mag -ano, now i'm tempt tempted to do that why is my mom telling me i shouldn't do that now i want to do that all the more. Exactly. You cannot force your children to do something. You can't force because our them parents didn't do something. that to us. Did yeah. your mom force you to do this, to be a vlogger, to pursue a career in the entertainment industry, and all these, all these things that you're doing? She did. She just supported and loved you. I, I went to college. I got a business degree, and everyone's saying, "Oh, you wasted four years and all that money. It's super twenty thousand dollars a year to go to college just to." make stupid videos of yourself and you think that's going to be successful? My parents, they, they paid for my college and they just said, you know, it's all right. If you're enjoying what you're doing, continue to travel, continue doing what you do because the money will follow as long as you're passionate. And yeah. a lot of people don't believe that and they believed in that. And fortunately for me, it worked out. So um, growing up, famous though as a child you see that that tends to have some negative effects um, on child stars i guess mostly this might be in american culture i don't know if it's the same in, in the philippines um, have you ever taken that into consideration or are you fearful that if sevi grows up famous he might be treated differently or it might have an Baka effect entitled. you yeah yun, yun. And, um i don't think sevi has a concept already about being famous. Hindi niya alam if he's famous. And sure. we don't let him know na your, your mom is an actress or a host and your dad is a director. He just knows that we have our jobs. And he has no idea. Somehow, meron na siyang konting concept na nakapapanood niya ako sa TV. Pero wala pa yung full concept na this is what I want to do in life or I want to be like my mom. So we don't really want to focus on um, talking to him about, oh, you're famous, or uh, this is how we handle fame, or like that. Parang we're more on focusing sa character development and values and principles that we are instilling in him. That's more it. than focusing on the fame, and that's fleeting, that's yeah. superficial. Yeah. We're really after his you know, character, his values and the principles that he will grow up with because diba, you have to train up a child in the way that he should go so that when he is old he will not depart from it and I learned that from experience from my dad yung mga brainwashing I call it mga brainwashing ng daddy ko sa akin about men about life about everything 
parang a big part of who I am today is because of the words that were instilled in me by my father. I mean, there's so many great stories that just come out of conversation and everything and this this whole Tony talks that you have built it's only been around for a couple of months right <laughs> we just started last <laughs> ano ba? March? Uh -oh, March well for the full episode download Spotify and follow me at superhuman and everything's linked below if you want to listen to the full thing I'm currently editing this right now in my hotel room here in Malta as I am part of the vlog fest this is probably the biggest international event I've been part of since the Shorty Awards back in 2018. There are vloggers all over the world. We're all here competing against each other to see who can make the best travel video in one week. So the voting begins on July 9th. That's when we it's July 9th. The voting begins right now and it's been a week since I made this video. Kaya haggard na ako, tabat na ako, hilpuyat na ako. Kaya hit the link below and everyone who registers to vote gets a chance to win an all expense paid trip to Malta to do everything like we just did here on this trip. So please, Iboto Moko, I am representing Team Philippines out here. We have Italians, Spanish, Americans, people from everywhere, and I hope to bring home the bacon. So see you on the next clip.